So I'm going to sound like a broken record for the next couple of weeks, to be honest, because once iOS 17 comes out, literally every single person that I know is probably going to ask me whether they should install it or not. And I have said time and time and time again, and I can't stop making videos about this because it's so important. I keep getting questions about it. You should never think about installing a beta on any iPhone out there even ones that are meant to install betas on, if you don't really know what you're doing or if you have pretty much no experience on installing betas, you are much, much better off not installing any beta on an iPhone, especially when it comes down to the next generation of software. Now, the reason why I state that is because a beta version of software is exactly what the name entails. It is a, you know, it is not a public release of a software. And I wouldn't even recommend installing the public beta either. That is also probably going to have as many issues as the standard, you know, beta that comes out. Now, the reason why I say this is because if you have your personal iPhone, chances are you probably don't have other iPhones laying around. You might not have your older device. A lot of people do trade-ins. A lot of people sell their older iPhones. So if you only have a single phone at your possession, you, you know, you one don't want to break your phone. You know, a beta has a high likelihood, maybe not breaking your phone, but there's a high likelihood of missing data, random features not working. And the worst case scenario, which does happen quite a bit, is factory resetting your phone. So AKA deleting everything from your device. Now, chances are, like I said, nothing's probably going to happen with your iPhone. Like things are still going to be working and it's probably not going to break. But with the beta, you just never know. That could definitely happen. And it's happened before to me before with my iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. But since I was 13 or 12, it really haven't had too many issues. But still, it could happen. The other thing, if you actually don't have another iPhone laying around to install a beta on then there really isn't any point in installing a beta in the first place because the beta is just a work in progress. The official version is going to be coming out in September. So there's not even that big of a reason to even install the beta because if you can wait a little bit of time, you can pretty much get the full version of software with all the fixes and all the you know changes and everything like that, probably in the September to October timeframe. Now, if you want to install it, then that's a much better probably idea than installing it right now when it's going to be in a beta. Now, finally, if you don't have the ability of backing up your iPhone or different things like that, there can be some times too where your iPhone may not be compatible with your other devices. So if you do a factory data reset, and if your Mac isn't on the latest beta of a Mac, if your iPad and Apple Watch aren't on the latest betas either, chances are you may not be able to do certain things or interact with your iPhone properly with your other devices because of that situation, because you're in a beta basically. So there's a lot of moving pieces here. Ultimately, I would just not recommend installing a beta on any iPhone. You are much better off keeping the official version of software on your device and then pretty much going on from there. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.